Good morning, School of Rock. This morning, we're going to learn all about being thankful, about what we're grateful for and how we remember to say thank you to people. So we're going to think about making thank you cards that we can give to people who we care about. We're going to think about sticking post-it notes on to say that we're grateful for things. And we're going to learn how to say thank you to Jesus for what he's done for us. Hope you enjoyed the first song this morning. morning I'm going to read you a story from the Bible and this story is from Luke chapter 17 and it's all about when Jesus was bumped into a group of lepers and it's the teaching about how one of the lepers was thankful to Jesus for what he'd done. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem and he was traveling from Galilee to Samaria. He came to a small town. 10 men met him there. These men did not come close to Jesus because they had a harmful skin condition. But they called to him, Jesus, master, please help us. These men had a condition called leprosy. And in those days when you had leprosy, because it was very highly contagious, you had to go out of the city and live on your own away from other people. So the people with leprosy would have lived together because they had all already got leprosy, but they wouldn't be able to go anywhere near their own family or their own friends anymore. And they wouldn't be able to live in their house or in their village. When Jesus saw the men, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. While ten men were going, they were healed. That means that the leprosy that they had got had gone, it had left their bodies and they were made better again. 
which meant that they could go into, back into the village and back to their families and back to the chief priests. When one of them saw that he was healed, he went back to Jesus. He praised God in a loud voice. Then he bowed down at Jesus' feet and thanked him. This was a Samaritan man. Now in those days, Samaritans and Jews didn't like each other very much. And Jesus was a Jewish man. And this man that was healed was a Samaritan man. So his culture wouldn't have liked each other. But this Samaritan knew that Jesus had done something really good for him. And so he went back to make sure that Jesus knew that he was grateful. And he was very grateful because Jesus had not only made him better, but that meant that he could go back to his family and all his friends. Jesus asked the man, weren't 10 men healed? Where are the other nine? Is this Samaritan the only one who came back to say thank you to God? Then Jesus said to him, stand up and go on your, your way. You were healed because you believed. This story is very important to us because it shows us that we need to be grateful for the things that God has done for us. I want you to have a think this week. Think about what you've done or what you're doing. What have you got to be grateful for? Has Jesus helped you? Has he worked with you? How can you say that you're grateful to him? Could you write it down? Could you pray? Could you talk to people about what Jesus has done for you? Just in the same way that this Samaritan came back and said thank you to Jesus, it's important that we too go and say thank you to Jesus for what he's done for us. God's love is big. 
God's love is great God's love is fat God's love is strong God's love is big God's love is great God's love is fat God's love is strong God's love is big, great, fat, strong, big, great, fat, strong, big, great, fat, strong, big, great, fat, strong, big, great, fat, strong. God's love is big, God's love is great, God's love is fat, and he's my mate. God's love surrounds me every day, and I love to sing and say, God's love is big, God's love is strong, God's love goes on. Today it uh, will be taken from Jonah chapter two verses nine. You will see on uh, the washing line uh, there's post. There will be post-it notes. So the first part is but I. Okay, let's add a second bit. So then he says but I, with shouts of grateful grateful praise. Okay, now the third bit. Uh, but I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you. I said a fourth. But I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you what I have vowed. Now, the final one. But I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you what I have vowed I will make good. So this morning, we've used post-it notes to learn a memory verse. And this week, while you're in your house, I would like you to think about maybe using post-it notes to say thank you to people for doing things for you. You might want to say thank you for your dinner or thank you for helping you to have a bath or maybe even thank you for washing your clothes, getting them ready for you and stick them on post-it notes around your house. Maybe as well, you could think about being thankful for, to Jesus. And what are you thankful for this week? You could write that on a post-it note and stick it in your Bible just to say thank you, just to show that you've got a good heart with gratitude. I hope you have a really good week and we'll see you soon.